What's up YouTube? Clean Cuts the One, the Believer Barber, back with another video. And this is one that I'm going to revisit from several years ago. It's something that I'm qualified to talk to you guys about, and I can't wait to get into it. It's been several years since I did it, and so we're going to revisit it. This one is the sneaker episode. So it's been several years since I did this video. If you go back, you can see um, that I'd already evaluated sneakers one time. Real quick, something that you guys might not know about me is that I'm a sneakerhead from way back. Was a sneakerhead from way back. Not really so much currently a sneakerhead from way back. But what you need to know that qualifies me to tell you about this is that my first sneaker collection I actually sold to buy my first barber shop for the down payment. My second sneaker collection I sold so that way I could put a down payment on my house. So now I don't have as many sneakers. I'm down to about probably 20-ish pairs of sneakers. I've got everything from Air Max, NMDs, Ultra Boost, and all that. But I sold all my ones, I sold all my Yeezy 350s, I sold all my uh, hype beast sneakers. I'm, I'm really a function over form type dude, and I'm coming to a place in my life to where I, I don't so much care what something looks like as much as I care about the fact that it works. So what I wanna talk to you guys about is three of my favorite shoes right now for standing on your feet as a barber. You know that health is really important. We stand on our feet all day, and it's very important that we take care of ourselves, that we eat right, that we exercise, but also that we take care of our feet. You know, a mat is very, very important, but also the shoes that we choose to wear as barbers is a very important part of whether or not we're enjoying our day in the shop. If our feet's killing us all day, this feels like work, but if we feel good about what we're doing, then we're able to enjoy it more. This is not a list that has anything to do on the way they look. This is strictly on the best shoes on how they make you feel. The OG Hirachis were my second favorite shoe to wear in the shop on my last list, with my first favorite shoe being the Adidas Ultra Boost. That brings us to this year's list. The OG Hirachi is still number four on the list, and right above that is still the Adidas Ultra Boost. This particular pair of Ultra Boost is uh, the Reflective Edition. There are several editions that have been made after uh, this 2.0. This Reflective was a pretty rare shoe to have back in the day, and it was the first Ultra Boost that I ever owned. I haven't gotten rid of it because it's just kind of sentimental to me. But this is what we're looking at, okay? Whether you get an NMD or if you get Ultra Boost, this is where the money is. This is what makes it comfortable. Ultra Boost is a very, very soft material. When you walk on it, it just squishes. And I remember the very first time I put on a pair of Ultra Boost shoes in the shoe store, I got up, I began to walk around, and I said, wow, this is like walking on clouds. I mean, it literally changed my life. And this was absolutely the best shoe for cutting hair in for a very, very, very long time as far as comfort. One of the cons of this shoe is that they are mostly made in woven cloth. So when you're cutting hair and hair falls onto this cloth, it tends to stay there. So yes, if you're gonna cut hair in these every day, don't wear them in your house. You can definitely plan on hair getting inside the toe um, and that can get kind of aggravating sometimes. This sock right here, is so comfortable. If you've never tried a, a, an Adidas Ultra Boost shoe or even an NMD, and I'm very much partial to the Ultra Boost over NMD, this just has more pillow, more comfort, I wanna recommend that you do that. These used to be super, super expensive. I think now you can get them for around 140, 130. If you look around on the internet, StockX, stuff like that, you can find them for cheaper than retail. Um, the last time I was buying these, they retailed at 180. And at that point, that was a low price and I would have bought every pair of Ultra Boost I could have got at 180. So coming in at number three is the Adidas Ultra Boost for comfort in the barbershop. Coming in at number two, in order to put this shoe on in the barber shop, you have to be committed to function over form. In my opinion, this isn't one that you can care what you look like. But let me tell you how this shoe ended up on the list. I'm talking about the Hoka running shoe. And that thing is ugly. 
ugly. Ugly. But let's talk about how this ended up on the list. Working in a barber shop every day, you see all kinds of clients. And what I noticed is there's a huge group of people that come in wearing these shoes. And most of the people that wear these shoes work in factories and work in hospitals. And they're working for 12 hours at a time. They're walking up and down the hospital and they are having to be on their feet all day long. They're having to run sometimes. And also the other people that are wearing this shoe are runners. People who are running 5, 10, 15 miles a day. They're running in shoes that say Hoka. So I begin to ask my clients, what's up with these shoes? We come upon a time where one of our barber's legs began to hurt. And because these had been recommended by so many uh, hospital professionals, she went and got one of these pair of shoes. She came in and said it changed her life. I went out the very next day and got a pair of these. And I can say that as much as the Ultra Boost changed my life when I found these, it was a whole nother game changer again. The, the sole material, which seems to be the most important thing to me, is so soft. It's like having a mat that walks with you. And if you have a shoe that doesn't have a soft sole, then you're gonna be suffering, okay? And so these are very similar to the Ultra Boost, but the sole is much thicker. So you're getting almost twice as much cushion. You're getting more cushion on the heel than the Ultra Boost, but it's just as soft and just as comfortable. When I put these on, I was very, very, very happy to have them and I thought that I had literally found the most comfortable shoe that I had ever worn. I didn't think that I was ever going to be buying another shoe to cut hair in because I thought I found it. I found the grail of comfortable shoes to cut hair in. I was close, but I was wrong. Which brings me to our next subject. Fast forward to function over form. I've been living a lifestyle of function over form for quite a while now. COVID had me really examining what was important. And a lot of things that I had that I didn't need, I got rid of. Things that are important to me now are necessities. Things that, uh, things that you need to survive. Things that if we're in a pandemic and you're stuck in your house, there's certain things that you need to have for your family to be able to survive, to be able to take care of them. I want to make sure I've got those bases covered and so not so much it doesn't matter what shoes I have and, and things like that. I live in a mountain in East Tennessee. I live in the country so it's it's practical for me to wear uh, thick pants, for me to wear uh, a comfortable button up and it just looks good, it feels good, it's lightweight. That's how I dress often. I don't dress so that people can look at me and say, hey man, I like your outfit anymore. I dress with what's comfortable. I dress with what works. Enter CT Barber Expo 2021. Being a part of this culture and knowing how much culture is a part of this show, I was not about to pull up at CT Barber Expo wearing Merrells, wearing my Hoka's, wearing any of that stuff. So I run across town looking for a pair of uh, I was probably going to get some Yeezy 350s, I was going to get some Ultra Boost, some NMDs, something like that. I just happened to pull up on my local Hibbits and I found this shoe at almost 60% off. It cost me $75 on this particular day and I had to check it out. And this is the number one most comfortable shoe that I have ever felt for cutting hair and walking. It's the Nike N354 trainer. I had never seen this shoe before in my life, but as you can tell, it's made very uniquely. When I saw this shoe, I asked them, I said, what's the deal with this shoe? They said, we've only got two pairs left and one of them is your size. I said, let me try it on. The thing that made it look attractive to me was this heel. There was a lot of technology and stuff going on in the sole of this shoe and so I had to know what is the deal with this shoe like it's got the pods what's going on I tried it on and something happened y'all like, like it was just like when I tried on the ultra boost only this was like the 2021 version of innovation of sneakers there are but these two pods right here have some type of fiberglass something in them that does something okay this right here is every bit as soft as the Ultra Boost. Look at how much difference there is between the Ultra Boost. And if you notice, this one comes back so much further. 
When I put this on, I never felt anything like this before in my life. I've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pairs of shoes on my feet in the last five years. Hundreds, multiple times. Hundreds. When I began to walk in this shoe, and my heel touched the ground, and I began to feel the technology that happens in this shoe, I can't explain it. So I bought the shoe, walked in, and when I got in my car, I began to look at the box. And when I opened up the box, it had this tag on it. It's like a paper tag, but it says this. N354 captures the innovative nature of Nike while creating a place to test ideas. This N354 label collection explores a spectrum of underfoot comfort and sensation. Risk plus stress. And then you can see that's the note from Nike. N354 champions Nike's legacy of experimentation and innovation. N354 is an unapologetic exploration to push the boundaries of design. N354 is not a trend, it is not conservative, it is not scared. That tells me that this shoe, they have put so much technology into this experience and it translates, y'all. I'm telling you, that you might not have seen this shoe on, on StockX, there's no hype behind it, nobody cares about this shoe. Go to the shoe store, try them on, and tell me this is not the most comfortable shoe you have ever walked in. It's got a very comfortable, lightweight sock type of upper. And this one is made of a suede type material. I could not find a dark color. I couldn't find a black. But as you can see, I was very serious. As soon as I found these, I literally went across town to find the only place, which is a Dick's, that had another pair in my size, and I picked up another pair. I'm currently looking for more colors. It's the most comfortable shoe I've ever, I've ever found. So, again, take another look at it. This is the Nike 354 collection. They got a couple different colors. I'm gonna say that this shoe runs about true to size. I'm a nine and a half. Um, I bought this in a nine and a half, it fits great. They only had these black ones in a nine. I bought them anyway, they still fit great fit comfortably I'm very happy I could do a nine or a nine and a half in either one of these shoes shoe number three still Adidas Ultra Boost you're gonna get great comfort out of this great wearability might get some hair in the upper it's worth it it's okay about 180 bucks Hoka's ugliest shoe I've ever seen in my life definitely the number two most comfortable shoe I've ever put on ever 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 I found these on sale paid about a hundred bucks after tax you're probably gonna run around 150 or more if you get them at retail ugly shoe Great to walk and stand in. Don't hesitate if you're a function over form type of dude. Number one most comfortable shoe in the world for standing and cutting hair all day in is the Nike N354. If you don't believe me, you just gotta get yourself a pair and try it out. So I hope you guys find some added benefit to this video. I know it's not been something we've talked about a lot and I'm trying to hit on some of the topics that I remember back in the day really made a difference to some people. I know this definitely made a difference in my life and how I'm standing up every day and cutting. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, hit that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you've been thinking about the new content. Have you been enjoying it? Am I not putting out enough? Should I be putting out more? Do you want me to address other things? Whatever you want, guys, let me know what you're thinking. Tennessee Barber Expo coming up October 24th. If you want to be at my expo, www.tnbarberexpo.com. Tomb 45 is going to be coming in big. And I also want to say this. If you're not in the Tomb 45 Facebook group, I want to invite you to join the Tomb 45 Facebook group. We've got 22,000 members right now, and we're growing. We've got a great culture of barbers in there who are trying to elevate and innovate the industry through education. And it's people like you who make it possible. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you tuning in to the channel. Until next time, peace.